All right, so we got some news regarding um, Simon Lois, Naomi, and The Flash. I'm going to be going over that in this video. Quick side note, there's no title card for this video because I'm still revamping some stuff for the channel. That's why. Um, I'm going to be discussing the news for like three minutes, and then the rest of the video is going to be going on a rant. <laughs> Not about any of the news in the video, but about the Airless community being a complete load of crap. <laughs> so... You want to watch that? I'm letting you know now. That's what the rest video will be. And I will let you know when I start that. Till then, uh, the news we got, Naomi Season 1 and Simon and Lois uh, Season 2 premiere dates are Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. Simon and Lois will be taking the time slot of The Flash at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Naomi will be following that show, um, Simon and Lois, with the time slot on Tuesday nights of 8 p.m. Central slash 9 p.m. Eastern. You can figure out your own times, obviously, with your local, you know, channels and all that, local guide, TV guide, whatever. You can find that out. What's going on with The Flash? When it comes back November 16th, Tuesday, November 16th, the Armageddon crossover will take part for five weeks, five episodes. Then, I'm assuming, because I don't think we entirely know for sure, but this is my assumption right now, once the crossover is done, we will go on a mid-season finale. Mid-season break, I mean. The Flash will come back March 9th, 2022. That's a Wednesday. <laughs> it will remain the same time at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, which, in my opinion, is good. Because as a content creator... We don't have Simon and Lois and Flash, which are the two best shows in the Elvis right now, on at once. <laughs> don't get me wrong. As a viewer, it was amazing. But as a content creator, this is something I've been wanting last year, where the two shows are on two different days, back-to-back, -back, instead of having it two hours back-to-back. -back. That's just me personally. I know a lot of you are sharing your own opinions about that. Some of them are not good. That's what I'm going to be going on a rant about right now. That was the news for the video. Um... Now I'm going on a little rant. <laughs> it's mainly Twitter, but it's also happened on my Discord server, my Airverse Discord server. I've seen it on other Discord servers. I've seen it on Instagram. A lot of people are hating right now on The Flash that it is... And by the way, this is my trailer breakdown that you're seeing in the background. Uh, the footage I use for that. So if you see the circles on the screen, I just noticed it. I'm using that footage because I didn't. I just found this news out and I need to get the video out right away. Because um, I have a lot to do, so that's why. Quick side note, back to the video. Um, people are hating on The Flash because we're getting a three-month break. I want to point out the fact, several facts here. Number one, we are still in a pandemic, Right? They just filmed a five-part crossover number two in a pandemic. Okay? <laughs> near the holidays for the third point. We are near the holidays. We're in a pandemic. And they just filmed a five-part crossover. Do you really expect them? I mean, they might be filming right now. I don't know if they are. But if they are, they're not going to finish episode six. They're not going to finish episode seven. Well, at least editing it. They might be done filming it, sure. But not going to finish editing it. Not before, you know, j January. Now with Simon and Lois and Naomi coming in. Um, and people are complaining that's three months long of a break. We waited a year for season seven. A whole year. I think it was over a year, actually. And you guys are complaining about three months? This is the normal time zone for when the Flash ends and starts. It normally ends in, what, May? And comes back in October. That's normally the time length between seasons. If you guys can't handle that, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> also, on top of that, we're getting Simon and Lois and Naomi. So it's not like with The Flash for the past five months, or three months, however long it's been. I think it'll be four or five months when it comes back. We're, we've been stuck with Legends and Batwoman. And Supergirl, which aren't that great. And Stargirl, which is amazing, but, you know, <sighs> not a lot of content to go off there. At least for me, because I, I don't like reviewing the show. I like watching I don't like reviewing it. I did, I said all that in another video. My point is, 
we're still getting good content from the Arrowverse. The Flash going off for three months? That's not a problem. We have a new show coming in, which is good. And we have Superman and Lois. And if you don't like Superman and Lois, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> so, instead of complaining about having to wait three months, how about you time travel back a year and a half from now, and you wait a whole freaking year for season seven? Because we all did. At least, you know, people who aren't new to Arrowverse did. So instead of complaining about three months of waiting, grow up. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but god damn, it is not that hard to wait three months compared to a year. On top of that, we have two shows. When we were waiting a year, we had Stargirl for like, what, two and a half months? And that was it. I think we had Supergirl for less. And it was Stargirl, and then we were off nothing for like two months. So, at least we're getting content. At least we're getting these shows in. And, Superman and Lois might be done by the time Flash comes back. I think it's 13 episodes, I'm pretty sure, unless they changed it. But, it should be done by the time Flash comes back. Naomi will still be on. I'm assuming, I don't know how many episodes Naomi has either, but... Flash is on Wednesdays when it comes back in March. In 2022, after the crossover. There's no reason to be complaining. I can, I can understand the date change. I know a lot of you like seeing Flash from Neil Lois back to back. As a viewer, as I said earlier, I get it. I agree with you. But as a content creator, this is amazing. And I love what they're doing with the different days. And we Neil Lois on one day and the Flash on another day. That's coming from a content creator point of view. As a fan, as I said three times by now... I get where that hate is coming from. I get a lot of you don't want to change your days up. A lot of you are probably busy on Wednesdays, not so on Tuesdays. Change that up. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but I think personally, this is a good move for the CW to do. Also for the Flash to do. And I know a lot of you are saying, why can't they move someone to Lois to Wednesday or Naomi to Wednesday? It's just a premiere day. When we go to season nine to Flash... It must be real. It's happening. <laughs> season 8's not the last season. It must be dead serious for a moment here. It, it, season 9's happening, alright? <laughs> it's not confirmed, but I think we all know it is. When it, Season 9 on the Flash starts, it'll either A, be on Tuesday or Wednesday. It'll more likely be on Tuesday after what people are doing now on Twitter and everything else. Second, which I really hope the notes switch back to Tuesdays, but whatever. Second, Simon and Lois more than likely, will keep airing in January. Stargirl is going to continue airing in March or May when their start of the season starts. So, if you really think about it, we're going to have Flash and Stargirl back to back. If you really think about it. We don't know when Stargirl Season 3 is premiering, but it will be during the summer. And we're getting the Flash during the summer. We're not. It, that season is not going to be done... Well, it might be done by May when Stargirl starts. But it'll be around that time frame where, I mean, it's a long shot, but, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Stargirl's already filming, but if they want to do a cross between Flash and Stargirl, that would be a good time to do it. <laughs> I mean, it, it, we have a time gap where they can film episodes and make them good, not dog water. <laughs> do you want to repeat the fourth storyline season? No, you don't. So instead of complaining and whining and acting like a little brat <laughs> over having to wait three months, get your head out of your know-what and grow up and wait. It is better than waiting a year. I have told that to so many people in the last hour, and I'm sick of it. <laughs> I I get it. A lot of you are annoyed. I get it. A lot of you don't like Flash and Lois back to back. Or, sorry, on different days. A lot of you liked them back to back. I flipped that around. Sorry. But it's three months. Give it a break. <laughs> We're getting a crossover, which seems to be pretty effing good. So I think the Flash will deserve a break after that. And crossovers are the, as the actors have said, even Grant has said to himself, even Eric Wallace, the crossovers are the craziest to film. But they're a lot of fun, but they're really hard to do. 
We're still in the pandemic, as I said earlier. They're filming a crossover. Well, they're done filming a crossover, but they just filmed the crossover. Do you really expect them not to take a three-month break? It's near Thanksgiving. It's near Christmas. We're coming up on uh, that time, and we're already near there. And you expect them to work during that week? No, they shouldn't have to. They should be on break. They really should. And then those who can't understand the concept of being with family on Christmas or Thanksgiving, you do what they do and you come tell me if you think you deserve a break or not. Seriously. <clears throat> I It is so unbelievable. I don't know why I get surprised anymore by this, but I don't think, no, it's not a surprise. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's shocking. I don't even know what it is. But it is just completely annoying. It is completely irresponsible to hate on a show for taking three months off. When again, we just went through a year of waiting for a season. Like a whole season ago. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago, people. So, you know. And it's also coming up in December, been two years since the last crossover. And we're getting a crossover. <laughs> we're lucky we're getting it. We really shouldn't be, but we're lucky we are. <laughs> so instead of hating, again, I'm <laughs> hating on a show for taking three months off. Look at the big picture. Would you rather wait three months or would you rather wait another whole year for the rest of the season eight? I think everyone would agree three months is better than a year. On top of that, we have a whole new show coming in, which seems pretty damn good, if you ask me. And I'll watch Pilot, and if I like Pilot, I'm doing content on it. Just saying. And Sumon and Lois, that show is freaking amazing as hell. Second season, premiering January. Probably till March, with Naomi. So, it's not like we're going to be dead silent for the Arrowverse for the next three months. No, we have content. That's the truth. And I really don't see any point in hating on the show for having to wait three months. They deserved it. They earned it after the filming this. Just from what we saw, this amazing crossover just from the trailer. I'm already saying that. Like I've been saying it for the past several months. This is going to be a pretty damn good crossover. So instead of hating on the show... Look at the big picture. Look at what we're dealing with. And if that doesn't change your mind, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but there's zero reason to send hate towards Eric Wallace. Zero reason to send hate towards Flash itself. Or Simon and Lois or CW. Just because they decided to give the Flash three months off. There's no reason for it. At the same time, also changing the date. But again, as a viewer, I get what you're saying. As a content creator, I like what they did. That is my view. That's because of what I do every week. <laughs> I was going to say every day, but I think we all know it's every week. <laughs> but that is the truth. That is what I want you guys to see. That is what I'm not saying your opinion is to be mine. But I want you guys to see my point of view and where I'm coming from. In hopes that you can try to understand what I'm saying and where I'm coming from. And hopefully die down on the hate to CW. Because the Flash does deserve a break. It really does. So, yeah. Again, not saying you need to agree with me. Not saying your opinions are mine. Because they're not. You have your own opinion. But for those who are hating on the CW right now. For those who are annoyed at the three month break that we're getting in March. Or 2022, I should say. Up till March. From January to March. Try to look at it from a different point of view. And realize that three months isn't really that long. <laughs> it really isn't. So try to realize that before actually hating on everything. That's what I want to say about that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. I wanted to come into the video. I just finished recording... Uh, the video you guys are seeing right now. 
Um, I want to record this a little bit real quick to thank you for the support on the Shorts channel. I hit 200 subs by like uh, under a week ago, and look where we're already at. Um, the support on the channel is amazing. 70,000 plus views in under two under three months, coming up on three on the 10th of this month, of November. Um, I think almost, what, 100 uploads? Uh, 96 videos in four days, that'll be 100. I mean, it, it, is, it is amazing to see. I appreciate your support. Thank you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And have a good day. Have a good night. Bye, guys.